Good morning, Don Lane. Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Thursday, September the 26th. And uh, three major stories on the go. Yesterday, the BC Nurses Union uh, released information on the assault on a nurse and other staff members at Abbotsford Regional Hospital. And one in particular was a nurse being assaulted with a barbell, hand weights. And uh, that person has been arrested, charged with assault, and amongst other things. But nurses and uh, medical air aids safety has become back has been put back in the forefront uh, because of this. We have the details from the nurses union on this story up on Fraser Valley News Network dot com. Uh, yesterday, two major things out in Chilliwack, one of which was the second debate of federal election candidates. This one was sponsored by the Chilliwack Chamber of Commerce. The first one done by Chilliwack Healthier Community, so obviously health care was the big issue. Last night, uh, obviously more on other political uh, agendas as well as business, uh, although there were eyebrows raised and cheers and applause when the People's Party of Canada candidate Rob Bogunovic, uh, Bogunovic rather, uh, stated that he would like to see a major overhaul of the Charter of Rights and in a vague way defended Barry Newfeld in his comments against SOG123. Uh, so that has sparked some uh, controversy this morning on social media. Well, yesterday, too, it was a packed house at Sardis Elementary for the Sardis Neighborhood Plan, the first of many meetings of how Sardis, let alone the rest of Chilliwack, will look down the road. City of Chilliwack figures at the rate they are going, uh, the city population by 2040 will be 132,000 people. Right now, officially 92,000, but many will argue it's already over 100,000 people. So we will uh, keep yourself, uh, keep on, uh, ourselves on top of that one because this is the first of many Sardis neighborhood plan meetings uh, scheduled for the area. Of course, Abbotsford has had their fair share of neighborhood plans as they approach 200,000 people. Put that all together, that's over a third of a million people in the Fraser Valley. And both Fraser Valley News and Chill TV service you, that third of a million that really doesn't have to cross the bridge over to that place called Vancouver. And if there's something you should know about or we need, we need to know about, let us know, fbn at shaw.ca. If you feel that it's a TV story, uh, contact our television pro partners at Chill TV, excuse me, <clears throat> news at chilltv.ca. Have yourself a great day. The, uh, it's going to be a little, another soggy one. Welcome to the end of September. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.